Hello, hello everyone. Those of you who are, are, who are new to my channel, welcome to Beauty and Lifestyle. On this channel, I talk about skincare, makeup, I'll, I'll throw some wig reviews in there, my honest wig reviews, and I just lifestyle, you know? And so as you watch the video, if it's something that you like, go ahead, like the video and go ahead and subscribe. I, I am so happy that you uh, joined the channel. And as I grow, I am going to get better and better at bringing you some awesome content. So with no further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video today. So let's get these eyebrows on. And I like to put my eyebrows or do the eyebrows when I have no um, product on my skin. So, and when I say product, no, um, the makeup, it seems like when I put the makeup on my um, brows, it is hard to get the pencil to work like I want it to work, if I'm making any sense. But, so we're gonna get these eyebrows done. You guys, I finally, finally settled with everything with my car. I will show you guys a video of my new car. So I ended up purchasing, not purchasing, leasing, a 2024 Acura and I actually like it you know for me being a a BMW girl I'm like totally a BMW girl I love my BMW but I said you know what let me kind of get out of it because BMW are very very good cars but the repairs on those cars can become very, very expensive. So I was doing a review on the Acuras when I was searching for my car and come to find out Acura is a really good car and I wanted an SUV. All right, so I, what I really like to do is I like to take some eyeshadow and fill in where I can fill in when it comes to my brows. Because my brows are so thin. Kind of gives it a little depth. And then I just take the end of that brush and kind of blend it all in there together so that it just, so it doesn't look like I just drew a line across my brow. You, you know what I mean? So I kind of blend that in there well, anyway, so I got the car, but the thing was with the car situation, which is really weird, Acura and a, a lot of dealerships, their um, systems were down. So there was a cyber attack. So I, you know, I got approved for the car and everything, but I couldn't get into the vehicle. They couldn't release the car to me because they could, they literally could not do anything like they couldn't um you know uh, give me my tags they couldn't they just couldn't do anything they were like it was like stuck so I was in a rental car you know the insurance was paying for my rental and you know they had they were settling my case so they only had given me till that Friday um to return the rental vehicle or you know I was going to be responsible for paying for the rental which it was something that I was really not wanting to do I, I'm not paying all that money for no rental and and I let them know this and I said I gotta return this rental so I'm here the reason why I'm here is to purchase a car so I get in my new car well because they couldn't get, you know, give me my car that day, that particular day, they put me in a loaner, which was really nice. I had a loaner for about, I want to say it was about four days, maybe after I purchased the car, 
on the 19th, it was June 19th when I went into the dealership to purchase the car. I did not get into my vehicle to the 25th of June. And the sales manager, he ended up having to type my paperwork to get everything through because they were trying to figure out, okay, how we got to get this girl in our car. Cause like, I'm like, how long is it going to take for me to get into my vehicle and everything? So they called me on that Monday and told me to come in and, you know, my, and pick up my vehicle, which I was so happy. I was very happy. I was like, okay, I'm ready to get in my car. I love the lease car. They gave me, not the lease, the loaner car. I was in a Acura MDX. This, the Acura MDX was huge, y'all. I'm telling you, it was, it was very, very huge. I was like, oh, this car is too big for me. Now, if you got a big family, that, um, that, now that Acura is, that MDX is very good for people with a large family. If you have a large family, that Acura was, it was nice. It was nice. It it barely fit in my garage. I'm so serious. I was like, this thing, this car barely fits in my garage. But it was really, really nice. Then they called me and said they needed that vehicle. And they put me in a, a smaller vehicle, which was actually, you know, just like my car that I had purchased. So then they finally got me in there and I'm, I'm, in, my, I'm in my car. So the thing is, is that. I, I got into my car. I'm happy now and I'm 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 happy. So now I'm just waiting um for insurance. Um I think they're ready. That they already settled. They paid um BMW. I learned a lot about leasing, I tell you that much. I've learned a lot about leasing vehicles and I'm looking for I know I put it here. I've learned a lot about leasing vehicles. Um you guys, I didn't get anything from this. Matter of fact, I lost a lot. I mean, I came out of pocket and it really um, was, it was, it was, it was a lot. But you know what? I say this, God is good and he is no respecter of a person. And I just believe that there's a blessing that came out of it. I, the blessing was I'm still here and the accident wasn't that bad where I was severely injured. You know, that is the key right there is that I wasn't, um, injured really bad, you know, so that's the good thing about this. And so there that is so much going on in life. So much going on. We all go through something. All right, so now I'm going to take this hazelnut and put it on, what is this, the brow bone. Yeah, the color that I'm using right there is, let me see, is this too bright? Let me see, that's better. I'm sorry, messing with the lens, but it looked like it was too bright. But anyway, I'm putting hazelnut here on my brow bone give it a little in depth. So I'm learning that you take your, you take the, your, your, um, pencil, you're not your pencil, Lord, your brush, and you hold it at the tip like so. And then you put it in your product and you can just, you just tap it to give it that in depthness that you want. Then after you do that, then we'll go ahead and we'll take the blending brush and you will blend it in because you want to make sure your product is blended in really well. And I'm just tapping it and I'm holding my my um, brush and just tapping it on here on the brow bone area. So the next thing that um, I wanted to talk to y'all about, I want to learn how to do vlogs. And so I'm going to get better. I'm going to get better and I'm going to show up better. Okay. Much. Now I'm going to take my blender and I'm going to blend it just right here. You see how I'm holding it 
and I'm blending it in that upper because I just want this part right here to blend in. I don't want to touch the other parts of my, my color right in there. Okay, so the next color I'm going to use, um, I'm going with some purples. I know I have one blue, but I'm wearing purple. <laughs> I'm going to wear purple. So uh, what color is this one I'm about to use? Man, I can't remember. I think it's actually it's a matte. And so what color is this? I don't even know. That is crazy. Oh, 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 oh. I'm using soft heather. Heather. It's this color right here. So I'm gonna put that on my lid. And you notice I'm patting it on there so you can actually see that product. And I'm gonna put some more on the other side and put it over here. So I'm gonna get my blender because I wanna make sure my, it's blended here. You don't wanna be walking around with lines. Girl, you want your, you want your shadow to look Really nice. I hadn't been wearing my makeup like I normally wear my makeup because I think um, from that accident, it really took um, a toll out on me. It really did. It really took a toll on me. So I definitely do not want to experience having a car accident like I did. I really don't. So um, the next color that I'm going to use is called Crystalline. It's this one right here. So I'm just going to tap the end of my brush right there. And I'm going to put it on my brow. I'm just tapping it on there. And then I'll, I'll blend it. But I had enough product on here to kind of bring some over there. And you want to make sure you blend that in on, that, on the brow bone. So this is your brow bone right here so I wanted to give that like um, a nice highlight there I was gonna tell y'all something else but my brain forgot what I was gonna say <laughs> man how many of you guys get brain fog I get brain fog I'm like literally like um, trying to think about what I'm going to say and then I forgot about it so the other color I'm using is frozen iris or is it, yeah frozen iris it's this one right here, and I'm going to put it on top of my other, my other color. And this one is more of a shiny color there. It's kind of give it like a nice little shine. And it goes, it's going to go right with this blue, y'all. <laughs> it, is, it is going, it is definitely going to go with this blue that I have on today. Um... And then I forgot to take the crystal line and I'm going to put it in my corner here. Just in that corner right there. All right. Now I'm going to put my foundation on. And my foundation that I'm going to use today is the Bronze W100. And what I like to do is put it, dab it here. So y'all looking at this old crazy wig that I had. This is the worst wig purchase that I ever have purchased. And I will never look for my foundation brush. Um, I will never purchase a wig from Ash Mary ever. Never. That was the worst purchase. Yeah, I won't, I won't do that again. I will not purchase another wig from Ash Mary. Their wig, this wig right here, I have lost so much hair. You can see my tracks, the hair, because I did, I think I did 150 and 150 density. So what I'm thinking with these wig dealers, I think if you purchase a wig with that 180, 180 and long, long, long hair, I don't think the wig is, a, they don't give you the quality. You know what I mean? They don't give you the quality of, you know, what you pay for the wig. So, I mean, I may have paid only, what I think it was, how much did I pay for this curly wig? I think it was 
to something, maybe 179 or something, 180, something like that. But it, it doesn't matter. You still pay your money for, you want quality, you want a quality wig. You know what I mean? And this wig is not quality. So I got a lot of views on that wig. And on this wig, I'm still holding in there. You see it's all lifting right here. I don't even care. Um, I'm going to end up having to get another wig, but it won't be with them. It definitely will not be with them. Because um, I don't like their wigs. I don't like the quality of their wigs. And no one ever responded back to what I wrote far as the quality of their wigs. They never wrote back. So they don't have to worry about my business no more. They won't be getting it. So... I am not happy with their product. And I've only had this wig. I think it's what been about a month. I think I think it's a month. I've had this wig for about a month. I've had wigs. They last a long, long time. Um Love Me Wigs, they they last a long time for me. And what's the other one? Yolisa wigs last. They're good wigs. I've never had this issue. And the shedding, oh my God, this hair has thinned out. It has thinned out so much. It is unbelievable. It is, it's so thin. It is really, it has thinned out. I you know, I'm going to have to glue this down over here. But yeah, it has thinned out so much. Mm -mm, never again. So, so that's my, this is my color. W100, it's a matte not a luminous because my skin is so oily and with it being so hot out here I really did not want a lot going on there so so the eyeliner I'm going to use the black what was it's the gel eyeliner in black I like it because I've learned how to do this I've always had a problem with making a wing but man I learned how to do it by error Y'all see my little wing? I never knew how to do that. It would be like air, like get it. I, and so now I'm do. I have gotten it. And another thing, you guys, you you notice I haven't been wearing lashes. I have the worst allergies now, and I I haven't been able to wear them. And the reason is when my Allergies are, let me see why my, my thing is, yeah. The, when my, I'm messing with this camera, I'm sorry. Um, My allergies are just, they, they, why is this not staying up? My allergies are just, my allergies is just off the chain. And lately, I don't know what it is, but, um, my eye says you will not be wearing no lashes today. Well, I haven't worn them. I have not worn them and it's been a minute. It has been a minute because usually my eyes will start watering and once your eyes start watering, you can forget it. Forget putting on some lashes. The last time I did that, my eyes was watering. I had glue, mascara, you name it, all over. So, honey, let me tell you. Learn, so I'll just wear my little mascara. Put, uh, try to do what I can with these lashes. I, um, as I, you guys know, I have lost a lot of hair on my eye, my lashes. I, they're gone. I don't know. So, and then I like to take the gel and kind of put just a little bit down here, kind of center it. Cause I don't want it to be too dark down up under my eye. Smooth it like that. And this gel it comes like this and it comes with a small little applicator so it's really nice i like it so what i'm going to do up under the lid here i think i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to put the um soft heather under here i'm going to smooth a little bit under there and then i'll blend just a little bit of that 
um, black, um, the eyeliner under there. <clears throat> And take this, blend it over there. Because you don't want, you can blend this here and then, so it don't look like it's a line. You know what I mean? Then I'll put some under here. All right. Now I'm going to take my Ultimate Mascara and kind of bring out as much of my lashes as I possibly can. I use two mascaras. The Ultimate gives you the thickness and the length. It's like Ultimate. And the other one, I have a lash lengthener to give my lashes some length because these things are barely there. And even it's not even just my top lashes. It's the bottom too. And... And um, I don't know. I I just don't understand. I know what happened. I'm telling you, back in the day when I was younger, I'm going to say I was in my 40s, I would go and get those lash extensions, the expensive ones. And I, they, I, I think that it really didn't do my lashes any justice and I put conditioner on my lashes to get you know make sure everything is conditioned but I know there's something it's probably like a vitamin deficiency or something that I'm going through I have no idea but I tell you getting old I remember when my grandmother told me she said keep living keep living I said now I know what she's talking about shoot keep living everything. <laughs> my Hey y'all, this is my birthday month. This is my birthday month. Yes, your girl is a, a, a considered a Leo, but I don't believe in signs. They say you a Leo. My birthday's in July. Yeah, July. And for my birthday, I'm going to go to Vegas and hang out with my family. I have some family out there my sister and um, one of my nieces. And I'm going to go out there and hang with them. I should vlog it, right, y'all? I should vlog it, right? I say I'm a vlog and then I don't. I need to be consistent with that. Or do I do a separate channel? Because this channel is about skincare and makeup or whatever. I can probably, I can, I can probably blend it in there. So I see my channel is growing, which I'm happy about that. I just have to upload more. But if you ever, if you've been on um, YouTube and you you do YouTube, you know it's very time consuming. It's very time consuming, and so you really have to put the the time into it. You have to put the time into it. So I'm going to use my, I can't remember what color this one is. I'll tell you, let's see. Oh, hint of pink. My cheek color is going to be a hint of pink. It's really light. And you guys, some of you guys might say, Tammy, that's too light for me, as maybe you, your complexion is a little darker than mine. But I believe, and this is my belief, and you may not agree, but a comment in the comment section, I think that anything you wear, no matter what it is, if, it's, if you like it, if you like it, that's all that matters is what you like. It's not about what other people think, what people, you know, what other people think you should wear. I used to be that person where I would... What people say affected me. Not anymore. I am not that person anymore. I used to be like what you said hurt me so bad. So now I'm at this thing where you don't like me. Well, okay, that's fine with me. Or we just we just don't click together. Fine with me. Hey, 
they don't pay if, you, if they don't pay my bills <laughs> i said you do not pay my bills honey and i just keep moving on but back in the day when i was younger things like that it bothered me but now it don't bother me the maturity right now for me is like girl i'm living one day at a time and i'm gonna live my life to the fullest i don't have time for drama and chaos I don't, but it comes to me. I'm, don't don't get me wrong. It comes to me. I get, y'all, if you only knew. If you only knew. But, and then you can't allow it. You can't allow people to come in your life and try to make you out of who they want you to be. No, that's not happening. Not in this life. Those days are over. I'm living for me. I am living for Tammy. And once you get to that point in your life, you like nothing else. What somebody says about you or whatever, it doesn't even matter. It don't. So I'm going to put on my silking powder. I like to put it in my cup and then I take off some of the excess and I pat it in here and then I blend all over. And I do just kind of repeat that same thing and take the excess off here and just pat it in that way and blend. By the end of the day, y'all, let me tell you, my skin is so oily, um, I have to keep a um, powder so it doesn't look so oily it's a good thing. I'm not, not that I'm complaining because, you know, that's what is helping me probably not get the, have the wrinkles. You know what I mean? Um, so it's a blessing. All in its, for it, all in its own. You know what I mean? So, okay, okay, you guys. I'm just rambling. I am rambling. All right. So what I'm going to do now is the, I'm going to use my hot pink lip liner. Woo. It's all gone. Wait a minute. Let me get another lip liner. Okay. I'm going to use the rose one. And the reason why I use the lip liner, because it helps with, um, well, I'm not using a lipstick today anyway. I'm using a, uh, a lip gloss. And when I put my um, gloss on and the lip gloss goes away, I'll still have the liner on. This is mauve, unique mauve that I'm putting on. And these lip colors go with everybody. So you can say, you can't, don't say, um, oh no, your, your complexion is different than mine. It doesn't matter what your complexion is, the color goes well with everybody, everyone. So my final touch is going to be my finishing spray. Ooh, I love that, my finishing spray. And then I fan it to give it that it sets the found the foundation because I want my foundation to last all day long until this evening. So when you use the finishing spray, it lasts, it'll help your foundation stay on and your all your makeup and everything helps it stay on for 12 hours. So now let me just pull y'all see where the tracks are starting to show? This hair has just thin, I mean literally, it's just thinned out. Um, so I'll be on the search for another one because I like the curly hair for the summer. I do. I love the curly hair for the summer. That's what I bought this one for, but it, it just turned out to be something that I really, I didn't like. You know what I mean? Well, I hope this look, um, helped, but... Um, or if you wanted to know all the products, I'm going to have it. I always have that information in the description box if you're interested in any of our products. Um, and um, 
One thing I forgot to do, I forgot to put on some foundation primer, which is fine. It's okay. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video today. And I hope your 4th of July was amazing. Um, my family, we all got together. We had an amazing time together. I didn't have to go um, to work that next day, which was great. Okay, so, but thank you guys for watching. Those of you who are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And don't you forget to subscribe. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye, everybody.